And if you're building the artist looking for brand new add-ons that you can use in your next project or you like to use them to fine tune your current project, this week we do have a good number of brand new blender add-ons that you can pick up and start working with. Most of these add-ons just simply makes your life easy and for those who are thinking about getting these, links to these are going to be in the description so do well to check them out. And with that said, let's dive right into it. Easy Week from the folks at Blender Procedural is a beautiful tool that allows you to create ocean simulations and get the ships animated with wakes in them. As all you need to do is to create the ocean and you can add direct how you like the wakes to be driven and the ship automatically goes towards that direction and simply creates wakes as it travels. With an easy to use set of parameters that allows you to control the look and feel of your scene, you can now simply create dynamic looking oceans super easy. So for those thinking about creating calm scenes or stormy voyages, this simply allows you to achieve the design desired effect that you're going for. And this too reminds me so much about the physical open waters from the folks at Physical Add-on, which also allows you to create photorealistic procedural open waters and gives you similar features for creating wakes, waves, and some amazing water and ocean properties. So if you're thinking about creating oceans, then you might want to consider taking a look at these ones and get started with it. Something else the folks at Blender Procedura have also put together is the Builder Pro. So the Builder Pro is an easy to use Blender geometry set of tool which allows you create interesting looking buildings. So for those who are thinking about populating scenes or probably you're thinking about creating some fantastic and fantasy looking buildings that you can use to drive a landscape, a city, an island, then the Builder Pro is a beautiful tool for you. It's also worth mentioning that they do have a procedural free Minecraft add-on which you can use to create Minecraft worlds. So whether you're thinking about getting the Builder Pro or maybe you're thinking about getting the Easy Wake, these tools are right here from the folks at Blender Procedura. And if you're interested in making foams or bubbles, then the Foam Painter from Martin is an amazing one for you to have. The Foam Painter allows you to create foams and bubbles around your model. The Foam Painter comes with a couple of assets that helps you create interesting foam geometry and textures to give that photorealistic rendering on the model that you're working with. Foam Painter comes incorporated with a couple of key features which are designed to maximize realism and efficiency in the most creative way possible. So whether you're thinking about creating very simple foams, bump or displacement driven foams or probably you like to control the volumes or even control how this gets applied on the model that you're working with. This full procedural set of tools now allows you to do this super easy. JSLAF, creator of the Simply Cloud Pro and all the Simply tools, have recently released a beautiful tool called Simply Fast. The idea behind Simply Fast is to give you all of the shortcuts that you've been needing, as well as some operators for mesh editing and rigging. All shortcut tools can be found inside of the end panel. There is also a pop up panel that gets triggered with a hotkey just in case you wouldn't want to rely on the end panel when working directly within your viewport. So, whether you're thinking about performing operations on the object mode, edit mode or probably rigging a character and you would like to take advantage of book and perhaps you might want to play with materials this allows you to do all of that and simply fast is more of a compilation of tools and shortcuts just in case you like to work quickly directly on your blender viewport rather than toggling through various menus to get things done and if you've ever wanted to trace images directly in Blender, then you can do that super easy with the Trace Genius Pro. This is an advanced image to 3D tracer which we've already made a video about. With this, you can trace both colored and black and white images. This simply supports a quick drag and drop into your viewport and with that you can simply trace any image of choice. It is pretty interesting what you can now do with this as this also allows you to separate objects, extrude and bevel them. This also comes with a couple of interesting styles and some selection types. Of course, you can proceed to work with the traditional way but Trace Genius Pro creates it cleaner, faster and gives you some more interesting and friendly options to work with. Some time ago we talked about Geoswam and today version 2.0 is out and currently they're doing a 25% off for those who are thinking about getting this. Geoswam is an ultimate swarm tool that simply allows you simulate swarms and insects on any model of choice. This simply gives you the opportunity of bringing your steel scene to life with interesting crawlers and version 2.0 now comes with even more stuff and features as this includes attraction, avoidance, gravity, following curve, endless spawning, jumping, barrier and so on. And of course, if you're thinking about dynamic spawning or flexibility, this also ships with preset and parameters that allows you to do all of that. And for those who are thinking about getting this, this might be the right time to get it as it's currently doing a 25 offer with this coupon code, which I'm going to link in the description. 
As 3D artists, stylized shaders have always allowed us to create that illusion of 2D while working on 3D models, and the stylized shader has now gotten an upgrade with stylized shaders version 3 from Dragon X. This is one of the best NPR add-ons that allows you to control how your assets get represented in 3D as if it's a 2D object. This now comes with 55 shaders that equips you to create tune, stylized, sketched, painted, nature, and interesting effects on the model that you're working with. It is super simple to use as we've already covered how you can get started with it right here on the channel. So for those who are thinking about getting this, this new upgrade now makes it even better and I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and check it out. And if you like playing with clay materials, then Kim Plow has actually released the King Collection Procedural Clay Materials. This comes with a couple of interesting things that allows you to play with clay materials however you want, as this ships with 20 different presets, 6 different clay crush presets which you can use to preview or even play with the materials, there's also 50 different assets that ships with this. So for those who are thinking about working with clay materials and possibly you'd like to work with ones that are fully procedural, then you might want to consider taking a look at this. Sculpt Layers now has a beautiful update that I would suggest that you go ahead and check out, especially if you're sculpting in Blender. We've already talked about the Sculpt Layer 2, which has been supported from Blender 2.9 and above, and this just simply gives you a lot of options of adding, erasing, joining, removing, and also editing various layers when you're sculpting in Blender. The new update now ships with Shape Key support. So, if you're thinking about sculpting and you like to add Shape Keys while you sculpt, this is definitely useful. We've already seen that the sculpting tool allows you to do some very incredible stuff with the sculpt that you're working with and achieve some good level of detailing instead of baking everything into one. But with this new update, you now have shape key support which you can use to drive your sculpt however you want. And for those who like to see how this add-on works, we've already covered a few videos about them and if you'd like to see all of the properties and new features that now comes with the sculpt layer or probably you like to purchase it, then links to this is going to be in the description for you. And when we speak about the sculpt layers, it is worth mentioning that Hussein Hatami is doing a 30% on a couple of bundles that he has made. So if you're thinking about getting VDM brushes or alphas that you can work with, of course you can find a couple of cool ones right here. But then if you like to save 30% off on a couple of bundles that he has made previously, then you might want to consider taking a look at these ones. So we have the 80 metal VDM brush and alpha bundle, which is having a 30% off. And this simply means that instead of purchasing these things one after the other, you can save up on all of them. The same thing goes for the 135 reptile and dragon skin alpha bundle. And of course the 122 muscle VDM bundle. And for those who like to work with fabric, there is also a bundle that you can find right here and i'll definitely suggest that instead of purchasing this one after the other you might want to purchase the bundle and save up on all of that and speaking about brushes and also vdm stuff for those that are into sculpting if you're also looking for more places you can get vdm or simple brushes you can use for blender then you might want to come over to nicolas page where you can check out all of these so this is it for those who are thinking about taking a look at these and probably like to get all of these new add-ons that are currently available or potentially you would like to update your previously owned add-ons, then links to these add-ons is gonna be in the description, so do well to check them out. And of course, there are some very interesting new Blender courses that are coming out, and we're going to make a video about that. Meanwhile, for those who like to see some of the cool ones that are currently available, and all the bundles that are now here, then you might want to go ahead check these ones for yourself with the links in the description. And before we go, sooner than later, we'll be doing an announcement of a giveaway from the folks at Nvidia. So for those who like to participate and potentially stand the chance of winning a graphic card, then you might want to subscribe and keep your eyes on the channel. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.